Hey, this is Jets from 2002. Welcome back again to Banished, using the Red Ketchup Editor's Choice and some discrepancy DS mods. Now, in the last episode, some of the main details was focusing on some of the comments that I've received, and one of them was getting some of these tools. Uh, switched over to carbon tools, which now have 300 use, and have actually become way more efficient, not to mention we're actually making more of them, so that was excellent. Thank you for that comment. Um, another thing is making sure the gatherer's hut is actually got somebody in there, and making sure that they are still efficient. Now, mind you, even with the forester, because I only have one forester right now, so... It's, uh, it's quite fine. It's actually giving us plenty of food, even with just two workers. Not to mention, we actually got this fishing dock over here. We have a meat locker and another dry shack over here. I do believe it's a, like, 1.5, like, a 1.5 to 1 ratio. That is my estimation. So I'm thinking about building another fishing dock somewhere over here so we have extra fish. For now, it seems like, well, it's not full yet because right now we actually have... Oh, did one of my fishermen die? What happened? Wait, 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 wait. Oh, it's a total of four. Oh, what happened? Ooh, it's not even full. Ugh, that could be a problem. We'll fix that as soon as we get more people in here. We need a bigger population, to be honest, because right now we're kind of stretched out. I mean, I know we do have some iron workers over here, so eh, it is what it is. Anyway, we also did actually get this area kind of planned out a little bit and some of the trees actually taking out. So we actually have a town hall that's going to go up and a cathedral for way down in the future. Uh, possibly later on when we actually start building the city out this way. So that'll be a nice feature. We do need to actually start expanding some little bit over here. I mean, there's not much we can really do except for kind of wait a little bit. Okay, we are on two speed. Um, other than that, I mean, we're still trying to get this area flattened out, so I'm not entirely sure how fast this is going to happen, considering it's early summer, so we may need to wait. And food, we're actually doing pretty good. I mean, look at this. We're, we're about 6k in food, and it's early summer, so I mean, so far so good. I mean, the variety's not that great. I mean, we could go ahead and actually start building out this way, and at least build a trading post. It is a possibility, and I do want to build this out here. However, I want to make sure this is all nice and flattened out first. Didn't I? Oh, I have not actually built the lighthouse yet. I, I planned it out. Well, why not, why not place it? We don't have to build it yet, but we can place it. Lighthouse. I mean, why not, right? Why not place it so we know exactly what we're doing over here? I want it over here. Like that. My god, that's gonna take a lot. Stone, iron, copper, glass, and firewood. Well, I mean, we have everything except for the copper. Yeah, everything but the copper. We have copper ore, but it's not smelted yet. That will come in the future. Now it's kind of making this... You know what? This blacksmith is making this blacksmith look redundant. <laughs> it's not open yet, but you know, it is what it is. So I think we shall wait a little bit more while people get things done. Since there is a lot to be collected and we don't have that many workers in here. Ooh, you know what we can do? Let's get this house... Oh, this house already has resources in it. Let's get it built. Are they done building the roads? Yeah, I believe they are. I think we also placed some roads over here in the last episode. I do remember something like that. Was it this road here? Oh, no, no, no. Is it? No, actually, it isn't. Was it here? Oh, I see something faded. Oh, you know what? It isn't built yet. And I only have two builders. Ooh, that could be a problem. I could... I could actually get rid of somebody I don't need right now. But why? Why? Well, it's going to be summer and it, they're going to be harvesting. So let's... Let's just see. Ah, winter has arrived, as you can see. Nice and cold. Well, still technically autumn. But hey, um, <laughs> the crops are harvested. 
as you can see here, we're still down to one labor. Now, mind you, I did actually build a few more of these row houses while we were waiting, and it looks like we actually did need them. I mean, look at this. We could actually build a lot more. Well, maybe not there. Let's check the housing over here. Oh, we have a retired couple over here. Oh, not really. A teacher and a worker. However, yeah, we could build a few more. Oh, that's a school. Never mind. Yeah, so, all right. I was checking over here. They actually did get this done over here. So, to be honest, let's go ahead and, and demolish that. We could actually go ahead and get the builders busy on this. Ooh, we have an extra laborer. Ooh. Let's go ahead and get a road there. And I think we might go ahead and actually flatten this little area out right here. Kind of like this. Hmm. Let's go ahead and just do this for now. Uh, three wide. Like that. And we will see. You know what? Let's actually expand it from here. Ooh. Well, I guess we don't have to do that, do we? Can we actually do this? I don't think I actually need workers for this, then, if that's the case. Oh, no, I do. Okay, never mind. All right, we'll get that flattened out. And this over here, we're going to flatten out a little bit more so we can get it ready for the key walls. Right here seems to be fine. We're going to see what we're going to do here eventually, one of these days. Okay, so... Going back to everything else we're working on. Now... Oh, wow! Ain't that something? Oh, it's because we finally have iron. Did they... They collected this? I'm actually in the menu, so I can actually check. Oh, okay, good. They finally collected it. Because we did run out of iron. And I was getting kind of worried about that. Oh, uh... Not over here? No? We have some iron over here. We could get them to actually, like, take some of these trees down. In fact... I'm thinking about getting them to take all these trees down over here and grabbing all the resources. So let's go ahead and take all the trees out here, since we need the wood anyway, and collect almost all of these resources in between. Like that. We have resources over here too. We have stone here. It's not marked off though. Oh, oh, that's why. It's, it's because it's on the actual properties wh which we have to get built. So, never mind. That's why. So, we have three laborers now. I mean, not much we can do. We, we can wait for them to do that. We could actually go ahead and start planting out some of these things over here. Uh, Food-wise, we're doing excellent. We may not need an extra field because we did get an extra fisherman in there. However, we could actually start getting some things like... We can start working with the Red Ketchup Dock Set. And uh, the Dock Streets, yes. Uh, we could actually start putting these in. However, we're going to need one of these, though. This is going to be like that. So if we put that there, some stairs, like that. Pause, pause both of them. Like that. And then we can actually start getting some things like these. And start placing them all the way out here. So now that we actually have some dock roads in, we can probably go ahead and start placing things like... Uh, what I wanted to do... Well, you know what, actually... Come to think of it. Let's go ahead and put this one here. And I wanted to have, say, this will be like one pier. This will be another pier. I want to make it look like we have piers out here. Hmm, I'm not entirely sure how it's going to work out, though, and how it looks. We'll, we'll build one side and see where we need to actually place it. Now, but the thing I wanted to put in here in... Uh, where is that? It's going to be services. No? No? Storage? Yeah, storage. Trading post. I want to put a trading post in. And I like these because we could also upgrade it. A stone in the future. Like, is that going to be a nice spot? Actually, that should work fine. We're going to pause it though, because it should be here, and then we'll have another one over here, and this way they won't really clip, as far as I know. 
Maybe if I put one over here, this one will clip this way. But you know what? It will be whatever it is. <laughs> uh, still, it will look nice. It will look nice. It won't be as bad as the last season. Which apparently got glitched, but you know, it is what it is. So, we actually have... Wow, we have a lot of wood over here, don't we? It's a shame this stock pot... You know what? I'm getting rid of it. Just for the sake so I know it's not working. Oh, yeah. So we did get this road finished, didn't we? Yes, we did. Most of it. Well, at least they're walking nearby. Or standing. Idling. Okay. Whatever. As long as you get things done. I mean, you have your own life. Let's see. We have... We could put more people in the fishermen. Uh, the fishing dock. So... Not entirely sure what else to do here, except for just plan this out. I mean, honestly, I want to get this done first and see what this looks like. And then we could actually start placing things like farms and whatnot. I was thinking, though, uh, if I do like a pier here or a pier somewhere, maybe here or over here, it might look better over here or somewhere in between. It doesn't have to be exact, but this will be the main road here. But... I was thinking about, you know, all the housing and whatnot, and having like a little, uh, little housing area over here. We could actually do that, but I'm not entirely sure because I have an idea to make it look a little bit more realistic, and having that. I mean, we have space over here. We could actually set some dock housing later on in the future, across the river over here and over here. I mean, it kind of is what it is. I, I want to kind of make it look like a city. That's the entire point. And to have this little pier over here with a trading trading dock, it would look really nice. It looks like it's early spring, so I think everybody's going back to work now. We got quite a lot of people in here. Ooh, ooh, okay. Well, now that the roads are basically almost finished, we can go ahead and get one more house in, since we have a ratio of nine to nine. So let's go ahead and let's let's put these here. And as soon as one gets built, we'll work on the other. Doesn't that just look awesome? What a beautiful little row of homes over here. A little complex, I like to call it. And since that's done, and our ratio is just about even, we can actually go ahead and, since we actually have six laborers, we could, A, uh, go ahead and fill these fishing, uh, fishing docks out, or we could go ahead and start working on glass production. And I think I'm going to go ahead and do that. So we're going to open this one up. We're going to open up the sand pit, and we are actually going to work and open up... Um, why does that take six charcoal? That's annoying as hell. Oh, but that, that's probably the equivalent or two or three firewood, so actually it's cheaper. So let's, let's make glass out of charcoal then, since we do have plenty. And let's open it up, and let's get one person in there, so we can start getting some glass produced. Uh, right now, that should do for now. It's already built, so, I mean, well, what can we get the builder? We could get the builders to start actually working on some roads while we actually do something, because let's do this. Now, mind you, I could just leave it open, but for now, for efficiency, we're going to just build a few more roads like this. Uh, get the builders busy. This way, we at least have some roads for them to walk a little bit quicker from place to place. And we can go ahead and probably, I'd say, we're going to start building houses this way. So, let's take this plot out right here. Since it seems to be a little bit more centralized here. And we are going to build a new row of, a uh, new complex of homes here using the set. So, we use this right here. So, I think I want to use something a little bit brighter. So, let's go for some red houses. Sure, yeah, you know what? Let's do that. So let's do this. Make sure it's it's uh, even. Like that. Just like this. Then let's go ahead and get the center homes. Is it the... Oh no, I put these right here. Like that. And then I put these two, two tile-wide townhomes row homes here and then we're gonna go ahead and just pause these for the moment 
while they get things done, because we do not want them to work on that. We want them to work on the roads for the moment. We do have some laborers, so we're going to go ahead and probably collect a few more resources around. Sounds like a good idea. Uh, did we pause? Oh, everything is paused. Okay, I did click it off. Good. Now, we have some resources over here we can collect. And we did have... We did have some iron out here, didn't we? Now, where's the iron? Where was it? It's all the way over here. Hmm. Do we have any iron? No? no? Nothing close by? We have some over here. It's quite in the woods, though. We did collect all of this. Hmm. I... Okay, you know what? Let's, let's go for a different plan, then. Since... Since, uh, oh, this is done, right? Let's, let's remove this, then. Let's get a road over here. Like that. And let's begin actually opening this up and getting this built. So, we'll, we'll kind of do it one by one and see where we go from there. One year later, we finally have our trading post and we have our nice little dock road all the way into the city. Now, it, it took... Oh my god, actually, I think it was a year and a half at this rate. Uh, just because of the distance that they actually have to walk. But, you know what? Look what we have. We have our first trading post. And, unfortunately, we're not going to use it yet. Oh, no, 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 don't delete it. I meant to, I meant to close it. Oh, that would have been bad. Oh, okay, so, all right. Um, ratio of children to whatever, we're going to build one house. Because I'm foreseeing it, so now that the builders are done with that, we got that done. Now, I did actually get the laborers to actually collect a lot of herbs. So, I was noticing our average health of the citizens are actually was dropping. It was actually like two and a half. So, I actually got the laborers in the winter, just recently, to actually collect herbs. Apparently, we had a lot of herbs. 163? 161? Alright, it's dropping now, but you know what? You would not be surprised how much was over here. Uh, or, I think I meant you would be surprised, but I guess you wouldn't be surprised because that's the whole point of collecting things, right? Anyway, we got this. We're going to go ahead and check over here for a second. We have somebody um, that's freezing. That's interesting. Oh, okay. Probably because of distance, probably collecting herbs and stuff like that. Um, Glassmaker, we're going to check this out for a second. 56 glass we have. Ooh. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna start building, uh, we're gonna start building this over here. Because we have iron, and our production of iron did increase because we did collect some extra stuff. Uh, we are actually going to build the town hall. So now that we got the trading post and the town hall done, we're gonna do that. We're also going to be opening up this foundry over here. Now this foundry, for me, is going to be dedicated as copper. So we're going to be smelting copper ore. So let's go ahead and unpause that right there. Um, that's going to be the next project here. Because the idea, since we have plenty of copper ore everywhere around, we're going to start smel smelting that into copper. And then that would be one of our first trading items because it actually does trade for a good amount. Then we can work on, on things like furniture and whatnot. And eventually I'm going to have to actually, I keep forgetting to add some of the discrepancy DS mods in here. Uh, for basically Because some of these items take things that we do not have like iron fittings and whatnot And I did not get the blacksmiths in here So I'm gonna add, be adding them into the game and hopefully that'll be fine and maybe next episode or two We're gonna be building some blacksmiths dedicated just for iron fittings and stuff like that So we can actually start working on things like this now mind you. I don't think the quarry I'm sorry, Quarry. Key. Key. I keep keep forgetting the, the name here. So the key over here, where is it? Walls and decorations. Water and bridges. The Thompson Key is over here. Dock stairs and whatnot. Okay, it takes like stone and lumber. And, uh, and some logs, some of them, depending on what it is. Right, we, we got a long way to go for that. But it's good to get prepared for it. And I do like the way this looks so far. I can't wait to. This is actually stowed. Ah! Looking good! Looking good! And how's this look over here? Not too bad. Not too bad at all. Oh, I guess we just gotta wait for them. Ooh, we got some fodder right there, and whatever that is. Herbs? Oh, those are herbs. Hmm. Cool! 
That is awesome. All right, I guess we're just waiting for this house then. And then we're just going to be waiting for the town hall. But uh, if we actually sum up what's going on here, we have... Okay, so our logs is actually dropping. We will have to do something about that. Now, I'm thinking, since we do have laborers... Okay, we're going to keep them working for the moment. Because we're going to be clearing some extra trees down anyway. Ooh, or maybe not. Maybe let's actually... Let's go ahead and fill this up then. Let's get four people in the Forester Lodge. That'll max out the first one there. And uh, that leaves us with four laborers. Food is doing fine. We're actually increasing the amount there. We could go ahead and sort of, like, add somebody here. Because I, I did notice... We could get somebody in the fishing dock there. And probably sacrifice somebody here. And because this is not a priority, but it is happening. It, it, it is happening and those resources are nearby, so it's not really a big problem. And of course, with time, things get built. Now, mind you, I actually had to get them to collect some extra stone in between, but you know what? We're doing alright. I got them to collect some stone over here. We still have some over here. Yes, yes we do. We have stone everywhere. So we got the foundry done over here. However, we're not going to smelt anything just yet, so we're going to keep it closed. However, we will set it up for copper and kind of just close that for now. In the meantime, we're waiting for this over here. We got a nice town hall going up. I can see the flooring. This is nice. I like looking at the framing. Something about that. I love that. Oh. So peaceful. So, okay, so while they're getting that done, we're taking a look at everything else. Now, mind you, because we were using iron and stone for building, that kind of dropped us a little bit. But look at the tools! I only have one blacksmith! My god! And so, I finally learned why it's good to actually make things like the carbon tools. It actually does help out a lot. Amazing, isn't that? Just amazing. And, and herbs need to be collected a little bit more. I think I... Do I have an herbalist now? I do have one herbalist. We could use one extra person in there. So let's go ahead and put one extra person in there. Because we should have herbs in here. Now, mind you, I'm not going to collect it. I'm going to check. Um, we have some herbs in the, in the radius over here. Not much. But maybe two people will help. I guess if they're not working, they'll be doing other jobs. So, it is what it is. We have a ratio of 10 and 10, so I think we can go ahead and open up a house here. And make sure our population is steady. Steady indeed. Are we gonna get this done? And so on that note, we finally got the town hall done, which means... We can check out our stats here. Look, nobody's clothed. Ooh, that's something we can work on since we should have plenty of textiles. Look, a thousand textiles. So maybe that's something we can try to build a little area for, or at least some buildings to get that set up. It looks like we have 24 homes, 32 families, 76 citizens, 56 adults, 11 students, nine children, 82% is educated. Health is at four hearts. Happiness is at five, four stars. We're in year 13, aren't we? Wow. So far, so good. Graphs. The one I like the most is food. Look at this. This is one year, two years, five years. Look at that. It's been a steady increase the entire time. Let's try 10 years. Wow. Okay, so that's exactly going to plan then. The only time we had that little issue was right here. Oh, not too bad. Not too bad at all. Okay. Anyway. That is going to do it for the episode, so if you did enjoy it, please go ahead and hit that like button below. Feel free to judge me in the comments, let me know what you think, and if you're new, feel free to also subscribe to the channel for more episodes of Banished, and of course, much, much more. Thanks for watching, I'll see you guys in the next episode, and as always, peace.